Good morning. We are going to start. Good morning. With arms overhead and pull the. Hi, everybody. Let me get us started and then I will change my view. Good morning, everybody. You can start with your band overhead and arms down. Looks good. And keep pulling down. You guys keep going. I'm going to adjust the screen so I can see all the faces that are in. The screen view shifted. Perfect. And then pull down. That's it. So your exhale is going to pull you down. Good morning. Breathe in and out. Pretty views. <laughs> and exhale. Now while you're here, I'll just go over some views. Your um, cues, your knees are long, but they are soft. Shoulder blades are down the back. And Miss Jean, you have a band in your arm when you're ready. Yep, you're gonna pull down. Yep, grab a band and pull down. And three, and two, and one. Or maybe you don't have one handy. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with the weight if you do. Take your bands like this, palms up. Step on the band with your heels. And Jean, if you don't have a band today, just grab your two hand weights and do this with the uh, hand weights. And exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. Now see if you can take 15, so five more. There you go. And Miss Jean, we're standing on this in the middle with your heels and taking biceps. Good going, guys. And then let that go. Hello. And then take your band behind your upper back. Your palms are going to face up. You're gonna exhale and we're gonna go out and then we're gonna go narrow. So we're gonna exhale wide and we're gonna exhale narrow. Now, as you're ready, you can add on to this. You can lift both heels and lower them. You can lift both heels and lower them. Each toe has individual weight. In other words, you're not letting your pinky toe take all your weight. You're not letting your ankles kick out to the side. You can exhale as you do the work. So as you press the band out and as you lift up your heels, you can exhale. There'll be a slight abdominal tone when you do that. Your neck is soft. Calves are working, which is good for circulation, good for balance, good for getting up and down stairs, up and down hills. Neck is easy. You can move it freely at any time. Let's do two more sets. So this is one set out and in and one more. Exhale out. Exhale out. Very good. Now you're going to take a little stretch. Take your arms in a wide Y and take them behind you. Hi, Michelle. We've done about uh, three sets of 20 exercise. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> three sets, three exercises, 20 reps. So if you need to warm up a few times and move your arms, that is just fine. Inhale. And then exhale to let that go. Now roll your shoulders just freely. Get, rid, get some range of motion there. Now take your band behind your skull. One hand, though, is at the low back. So hold on right around the low back. Press your exhale. Press your arm up. Let me get in close so you can see what I'm doing. Doing some tricep pressing. Good. Exhale. That's it. Six. Make sure that your neck is easy. You're not poking your head forward. Your ears in line with the shoulder from the side view. Good. Take 10 more. Nine. Back of the arm. Eight. You should feel that it's getting a little harder. Seven. It's getting fatigued. Six. Back of your arm, four, three, two. Now we're gonna switch sides. So grab this one, hand, other hand low. Your other hand's your anchor. Push up, two, 
Yep, shake it out. Three, four, five. Back of your arm. Six, neck is easy. Seven, straighten all the way. Eight, nine, good. 10, 11, I like how you're controlling it on the way up, but especially on the way down. You're not letting the band just yank you down. Whew. Lengthen, 15, that looks good, Polly. 16, 17, good, Michelle. 18, okay, two more. 19, that arm's getting tired, it should be tired. Let that go, roll it out. Now this time with your stretches, take your band pretty wide. Make sure you have enough room that you don't hit your hands on anything. Go forward and back. The band hits your thighs in the front, the band hits your thighs in the back. Inhale. Notice how my elbows are long and if it's tight, I just pull the band a little bit during that tight spot. If you don't feel it, walk your hands in closer. Oh, breathe in and out. Feel your humerus move in that glenoid fossa. Should feel good. One more, inhale and exhale. Now take your band at your upper back again, your scapula, just below your shoulder blades. You're gonna do palms up. I'm gonna stand up because we're gonna be adding on. Now take your feet a little wider. You see that? You're gonna do an exhale as you have a seat and you push your arms out. You exhale as you have a seat. Now your heels are heavier than your toes, which means your booty goes back. And I'm gonna turn so you can just see the booty goes back. I'm not pushing my knees forward, so glutes back. Mm -hmm. The other cue is your knees are lining up with your second toe and your middle hip, middle of your hip. 11. When you do these, it's uh, make sure that your neck doesn't feel tense to keep looking at the screen. So if you have to look down a little bit to tuck the chin so your neck doesn't get tense, that is okay. Don't feel like you have to force your gaze up if it's compromising your neck at all. Depending on where you have your camera, that cue will make sense. Take three more. Three strong legs. Two, and one. Nice job. Now we're gonna grab a lighter weight, a lighter band if you have one. So you're gonna be standing on your band and put your heel on it. Let's say your right hand has the band, you're gonna be standing on the right heel. Go out to the side, abduction. Keep your torso stable. Resist the band. The shoulders what's working, not the neck. Good. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, we're gonna do the other side. Step on that band, heels go out. One, two, three, four, five, six, that making sense, Polly. Seven, you're standing on the band. Eight, and then your arm goes out. Nine, you're trying not to lean away. You're trying to stay upright no matter where the band is. Your body's the same. It's standing tall. If it gets too hard, just walk away instead of leaning. Neck is easy. You can see the band in your peripheral vision. It's not scooting behind you. 17, real tall, jawline parallel to the floor. One more here. Now stand on the band with your other foot. Your other hand has the band. You're going to pull the band forward. Now, this is a front raise. It's still shoulder. So if you were to put your hands right here, the shoulder's working, not the neck. Did you see how tempting it is to stand, to lean back? You're going to stay tall and not lean back. Good. If it's getting too hard, give yourself more slack. 
11, there's a little bit of ab tone to keep your body upright. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Other side, you're going to stand on that band. You're going to go forward. Breathing, eight, nine, shoulder, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's a little softness in the elbow, 14, and there's softness in the knees, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Nice job. Now, go back to a more medium uh, intensity. If you just have one band, just grab more band. It doesn't matter. You can make it work either way. Stand in the heat in the middle with your heels, elbows out. Now, notice how the wrists are in line with the forearms. I'm not forcing them vertical. Exhale. Good. Upright row. Five. Yep. Biceps and shoulders. Six. Seven, check your wrist, make sure they're not uh, vertical. They're in line with your forearms. So they feel good. It should not hurt your elbows. It should not hurt your wrist. All right, 10, nine, uh, eight. Let your elbows be higher right here than your shoulders. So let your elbows be a little higher right here, Julie. Yeah, than your um, wrist. So right here, your elbows are higher. Just make sure you're not flipping your wrist. Five, there you go, guys. Four, good, Julie, that's it. Three, good, Betty, I can see you too. Now we're gonna take a set of push-ups. You can take them on your wall, which means you would step back farther. It's harder, clo further, uh, closer is easier. Now I'm gonna tilt so you can see, but basically you want a little ab tone when you're doing it. Try 20, shoulders are down the back. Four, Good, five, I like the angles I'm seeing. Six, seven, this is something you can do anywhere, even when you're traveling. Just need a wall. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20. And now interlace your fingers and take a shoulder stretch. Interlace your fingers and take a shoulder stretch. Inhale. And then release with a, a knocking on the door of life move. This is a release of tension as well. Four, three, two. And then from that Qigong move, you're going to grab your band again and put it behind your upper back scapula area. We're going to do a little breast stroke. Palms face up in our breast stroke. So I like, if with all this handle, I like to grab a little extra so it's not just dangling and hit me. You're going to out to in, out to in. Now adding on, if you would like, you go into a wider position. I'm going to call it second position squat. You're still going to do your arm movement, but now if you would like to add on an option, you add on your wide squat, second position squat. Your neck is not involved. <sighs> Exhale. <sighs> Good. We're all a little different, but I'm gonna say that you roughly go to 90 degrees. Your weight's still back. You can have the image of like you're uh, using a public restroom. Your weight, your booty is back. Now, watch the arms. I'm gonna go narrow and wide, narrow and wide, narrow and wide, narrow and wide. You got it, five. You may, rightfully so, feel that your heart rate is getting up a little bit. We're using big muscle groups. This kind of patterning is really good for the brain to prevent dementia and create new neural pathways. One more. Very good. Now I'm gonna tilt the screen, grab a sip please, if you can, and I'm gonna shoot for eight ounces. And then we're gonna take a uh, seated row.
A seated row is a heavier band normally. At the minimum, um, you cross it. So what you'll do is put it around your feet, arch, uh, cross like an X, and then you're gonna bend both elbows past your ribs. The other trick you saw me do is you could take two bands if you don't have a heavier one and it feels like it's not enough weight. Uh, the other trick is you walk your hands down the tubing to make it harder towards your feet. So exhale, exhale. Mm -hmm. Good. If you can pull your arms way far back, try grabbing a uh, more tube or a heavier tubing. So if your arms are way back here, then it's probably too light of a tube. So this is a pretty, um, you're using back, biceps, rear deltoid, and you're strong here where you uh, have a bent elbow, so it's a little easier to get a stronger weight. So try a strong band. We're gonna be adding on, turn while you rotate. So pull your right arm and rotate right. Rotate left and pull. Now exhale, and when you do this, see if you're even on each side. See if you can consciously make that pretty even. And if you feel uncomfortable sitting on the ground, you can use a pillow underneath your tush to help get your spine in neutral before you rotate. Try six more, exhale, six. Upper back rotation is really good to prevent that rounded upper back that you see that people will get without intervention. We're not going to get it. We're going to have great posture because we're working the muscles and we're working on the flexibility. Two and one. Nice job. Before we add on, hold hands with yourself and massage your wrist about five each way circles. And then five the other way. You're getting some WD-40, which is your uh, synovial fluid in your joints. A second hand stretch we're going to do is palms together. Keep pushing the palms down your midline until your hands start to separate and there's a good stretch on your underarm or your forearm, your under forearm and the palms of your hand. And then just sort of shake them out. You're releasing any tension. Now you only want one band. So if you had two earlier, you're going to only want one band and you're gonna take it around your heel arch, cross it like an X, put your elbows beside your ribs, open up your forearms. Now this is called external rotation. External rotation. Good, elbows are tight. This is really therapeutic, kind of like rehab for prehab. We're doing it on the front end, prehab. Your neck is easy. 10 more, nine, Eight, and just keep a continuous breath, which means you're not holding your breath. The exhale can help you with the hard parts of these exercises. Three, two, one. Now we're going to uncross the bands. They're parallel. I'm going to turn so you can see them a little better. Now your hands are going to be beside your hips roughly, but kind of a little wider. I don't want your fingers to run into the floor. So you see I have a couple inches at least on each side of my hip. Pull, pull, and if you have the tubing, the elastic tubing with the handles, it's fun just to put your hand in there and kind of knife edge, pinky towards the rear wall, but it's okay if you don't, just hold on. You can try it all sorts of ways. My main point is joints are comfortable while you're doing this. The muscles are getting worked, but your joints don't hurt. Neck is easy. Slow it down for more intensity. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we're going to take a little stretch. Palm forward, pull your fingers down. Five, this is going to feel really good. Four, three, two, Palm forward, pull your fingers down. Ooh, five, four, three, that looks so good. Two, now hand down and pull your fingers under. Five, now top of the forearm, four, 
three. And if you can, be stretching your feet too. You can pull those toes towards your shin. And then other side, fingers down, shoulders are soft. Five, four, three, two. And now wiggle them out. Take your hands again on the band. Now you're gonna look like the letter T. You're gonna open up to the rear. Open up to the rear. Exhale. Neck is easy. Rear fly. Your, adult, your deltoids <clears throat> are working. Exhale. You're tall. And Betty, your posture's looking great. Keep that. Rear shoulder is so important. It doesn't really get much work during the day, so you'll feel this is novel, but we definitely need it for healthy shoulders to prevent rounded shoulders. Four more, three, two, one. Now, I'm gonna give us a little, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna give us a little stretch. One arm back and then fingers back. This is called the rack. One arm up and fingers back. Now lift your heart. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Five. Now while you're here, especially if you have um, no shoes on, you can really spread out your toes here. You want to see space between the toes. Lift your heart. Five, four, three, two. Inhale. And exhale. Come back. Now we're going to put those bands. Oh, grab a sip if you need, and then we're going to take a bicep curl. <clears throat> Shoot for eight ounces or so uh, of drinking. Now you're going to put that around your feet, heel arch, your palms face up. You're going to, um, I'm going to give an exception to that rule. So this is a bicep curl. I'm going to show a couple ways to do it. Um, Michelle, you may like a neutral grip. And neutral just means, especially if you're down a band, you kind of have your thumb facing up. So I'm going to show neutral looks like that. And that's fine too. I want you to find what works best for your joints. Another way to make this harder, you see how I'm leaning back a little? That's a, an abdominal add-on and it added intensity. So if that hurts your back, do not do it. You're gonna sit up straight and do a bicep curl. Another way to make this hard is to lift your elbows. So they're not on my ribs. If you want it harder, you lift your elbows. So lots of different ways. I'm gonna show this ab crunch way again. These are carrying muscles, so if you're carrying bags of dog food, carrying laundry, carrying groceries, these muscles were getting strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Now sit any way you want to. I'm just going to show a crisscross applesauce way. Open up your arms, inhale. Exhale, rotate, 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 and then put your hands down. Mine ended up being on the thigh and the floor behind my booty. See where yours are, and then just gently assist that rotation. Your neck goes along for the ride. There's no pain. Five. Inhale, open up your arms like a big T. Go to the other side, place your hands down, and then hold that side in a rotation. Shoulders are down the back. Inhale, come back, grab your band. So place the band around your feet arch, your legs are extended. We're going to do a pattern, which is really important, in, in particular with exercise, to prevent dementia and create new neural patterns. Uh, better than crossword puzzles, actually, because there's blood flow that's increasing with exercise. So we're going to do a couple things. You're going to do a bicep curl. Then you're going to go out like a T. And then you're going to pull down low. That's the pattern. You're going to do a bicep curl. Sit up. Go out wide like a T and pull down low, low lap. Do a bicep curl, go out like a T, and pull down low, low lat. Bicep curl, you notice you have to flip your hands. Sit up, out wide T, lower lat. 
Bicep curl, you're doing great. Out wide. Exhale low. Bicep curl, flip your hands, lean back a little bit. Out wide T. Low lap pull. Bicep curl. Out wide. Low lap. Can you do another two sets? Bicep curl. Out wide. And low. Bicep curl. Out wide. Down low. Perfect. Now I'm going to have you sit any way you want to. I'm choosing crisscross applesauce. Take your arms out again. Exhale and imagine you're going over a fence. Oh, this is a half moon seated. Now, if your forearm will go to the floor, you can do that. Now, add on a little rotation. Down. Breathe into that rib cage. Add on a little rotation up. Breathe into that rib cage. Inhale, come up into a letter T again. At this moment, you can notice your, uh, your body is more spacious on the side we stretch. Go over. If you can put your forearm down, please do. Breathe in. Add a rotation towards the floor a little bit. Add a rotation towards the sky. Take a neutral inhale. Exhale, come back. Now, pat yourself on the back. This could be your stretch where you hold that. Or take this hand up the lower back and catch your fingers. Cow face. And um, Karen, what you did, you noticed it's a little easier to be neutral spine when you're on your shin. So if that's better for you, please do. Inhale. Good. This is for posture. Good. Now, it's kind of like Cleopatra. Switch your hands. Go to the other side. If that does not work out to put your lower hand reaching up, then just hold on with your hand to your elbow. Breathe in. See if you can catch your fingers. Breathe in. Now release, and we're going to go into three breaths up. When you go up, press your palms together. It's like someone's pulling you out of your hips, and exhale down. Breathe in, we're gonna breathe in. It's like the image of sunshine, fresh air, vitality, radiance. And exhale, release any tension. Inhale, breathe in, catch that sunshine, catch that vibrance, catch that radiance, catch that good feeling. Let your hands come to your heart and I want you to just touch base with your cells of your body. Notice how good they feel. Notice how good it feels to have given some attention to your body and devotion to this blessed being. Notice how good it feels to fill your cup, and it's easier to be good to others in our day with that cup filled. So we'll make an intention that we hang on to this good high vibration feeling as much as we can, and if we ever feel like we're starting to falter, we can come back to a few breaths with our hands on our heart and reclaim that peace that is ours. With so much appreciation, thank you all so much for coming. Happy Tuesday. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Good to see you.